Good morning, Sunday School. I'm Teacher Leah. Welcome to another online Sunday School service. I'm ready. Are you guys ready for today's lesson? We're going to start with an opening prayer. Hello, I'm Teacher Nanaya. I trust that you've had an awesome week and that you're excited and ready to get into um, this week's Sunday School story. But before that, let us commit um, this week's Sunday School story and everything into the Lord's hands. So let us pray. Dear Lord Father, we're just so thankful that you have kept us through this week. We're so thankful for your love. We're so thankful for the security that it brings us to know that we can put our trust in you and that you prove that you can be trusted. Dear Lord Father, even as we are about to hear this week's Sunday service, we ask that you prepare our hearts to receive your word, Lord, as you speak directly to each and every single one of us on a personal level. Lord Father, we commit the teachers into your hands as they prepare the story and they deliver it to each one of your children. We ask that your hand will be with them, that they will only do what they hear from you. Dear Lord Father, we ask that you also look after every family that's represented here. Lord Father, you know their issues, you know their needs, that you would meet them at their point of need in a personal way. Dear Lord Father, we continue to thank you for your protection, how you have given us good health. We ask that you continue, Lord Father, to give us good health and that you give us wisdom and discernment to do the right things. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our songs for today tell us more about what the Holy Spirit does. All over the world, the Spirit is moving. All over the world, like the prophet said it would be. Hallelujah. All over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Welcome to another Sunday School class. We thank God that we're able to continue to meet online um, and have a new year in 2021. This week, our Sunday School uh, lesson continues from last week's lesson, which was about um, knowing God. And this week, we have a very special lesson called All or Nothing About the Kingdom of God. My name is Teacher Rason, and I'll be bringing you the lesson to t for today. Our lesson for today comes from Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 46, and I'll take a few minutes to read it from the Bible. But do you know what a parable is? 
Uh, have you ever had a story about something that helps you understand something? And Jesus used stories called parables. Whenever Jesus was teaching and he wanted to explain, he would use a parable to, um, and a parable is really a story that was about something that people could relate to. So it would be about, you know, people in the field because a lot of the people um, that Jesus was teaching were farmers. So sometimes he would use a story about farmers um, to be able to explain something he would, ex he would use um, an illustration about a tree, for example, in, in order to be able to explain things to people. He would explain about a seed and how it grows big so that people could understand the sort of things about, about the kingdom. And so today we are going to be also listening, we'll also be learning about two parables about how valuable the kingdom of God is. And like we said, that it's called all or nothing. Tell your mommy or your daddy or whoever you're watching with, all or nothing. So Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 to 46. The kingdom of heaven is like a very precious treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid again. Then in his joy, he goes and sells it and buys that field so that he can have the treasure for himself. And then the kingdom of heaven is also like a very costly pearl um, where, the, where a merchant who is in search of fine pearls upon finding one single pearl of great value sells everything he has in order to be able to buy the pearl. So let's think about this for a little bit. So imagine, just close your eyes for a minute and imagine that you're walking through a field and then you kick something and then you're like, oh, what's that? And you look down and then it's this box and when you open the box, it's, it's got many, many bags of all this money and all this wealth. And imagine the man found many, many gold coins and he looked and he said, ah, oh, there's so much money here. This is so valuable. And so he said to himself, if I want this, how can I have all this um, valuable treasure for myself? And so he said, let me sell everything I have. And he went and he sold everything that he had so that he could now go and buy that piece of land and have the treasure that was inside that piece of land. Or let's, let's talk about jewelry, the story about the pearls. So, you know, a pearl, it's a very special type of stone. It's made in an oyster and then a little piece of dirt. Um, if the oyster comes and it has a little bit of dirt, then it, because of that stress, it, it produces um, a special kind of substance that continues to grow around that. And then it makes a very, very special type of pearl. And pearls are usually white. This is not quite a pearl, but it's an example of a special type of jewelry. So you'll find that um, this man looked at this one pearl and he said, this pearl is of such great value. What can I do to be able to have this pearl? And he said, you know what? I'm going to sell everything that I have so that I can have this pearl of great, great value. And this is what the kingdom of God is about. And when you think about a kingdom, a kingdom is about a king and a place for Dom is dominion. But the kingdom is about the king. And when Jesus was saying that when you understand the kingdom of God and the value of the kingdom of heaven and the value of the kingdom of having a relationship with Jesus Christ, who is our king, we should be able to give up everything. And what is everything? So the stories he was using are the things that were valuable to, to people living in the time that Jesus lived. So things like treasure, like gold, or, uh, or jewels like pearls, and he was able to say that. So let's think for a minute and say, what would you give up? And why would you give it up? So, for example, what are the things that one would value? So you may value jewelry, for example. So if you value jewelry and you have your pretty, pretty earrings that you'd be wearing, would you be able to give those up if it was for the sake of the kingdom? Or you would have your treasures and, you know, the money in your piggy bank. Would you be able to give that up for the sake of the kingdom? So, for example, if someone needed it more than you, would you be able to give it up? And this is what the story is about, to say, would we, able to, would we be able to give up our things? But more than that, why, why, do, why would we give up our, these things that we have? These are for the kingdom. And it's also about giving up ourselves. When we know God, and if we think about last week's lesson about how we get to know God by spending time with him and by reading his word, we do this because we love God and we want to know Jesus more and we want to know God more. And this also comes to saying, what can we give up of ourselves? So when you think about our time, 
what is the most important thing for us? When we wake up, do we put God first? And when we have our things, are we able to give them up for God? And when we have our talents, um, like our ability to sing, our ability to dance, our ability to draw, to write, what of our talents are we able to give up for the kingdom? So today I want us to take a minute to think about Jesus and why he is so, so valuable to us. He died on the cross so that we could have a relationship with him and so that we could grow in knowing him more and loving him more. And then um, we'll be able to live with him eternally in heaven. So when we think about this kingdom and the eternal life that God gives us, uh, that, that God offers to us that we can live with him in heaven, it is worth everything. So is it worth our, uh, is it worth our time? Yes. Is it worth our things? Yes. Is it worth ourselves, our talents, our abilities? And that's an absolute yes. So as we learn the memory verse that will be coming and as we think through this week, let's take a moment and think and say, oh, I want to know Jesus more. I want to love him more. I want to be able to, to, be able to take part in the kingdom of heaven which is really about the King, Jesus. And we can think through um, this coming week, what is it that we can do to be able to, to give up so that we know we can, we can spend time, we can spend more time with Jesus, we can get to know Jesus more, and we can also give of ourselves, of our time and our talents for the kingdom of heaven. So remember, the kingdom of heaven is one, it's about the King, who is Jesus Christ. And then the second thing that we need to remember is the kingdom of God is very precious. It's very precious and we can give up our, everything that we have to be able to be part of the kingdom of God. And then we should be able to give up our time, we should be able to give our talents, we should be able to give ourselves in order to be able to serve God and love him and be able to take part in the kingdom of God. So that's all for now. Bye for now. Sunday School, I'm Teacher Talent. Today I'll be sharing with you the memory verse. Our verse is from the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. Let us go again. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness that was our memory base thank you have a new wonderful weekend for bye we hope you guys had a good time in today's lesson we'll see you guys next week bye for now hello let us pray our father thank you for the day that you've given us Thank you for the lessons we have got to learn. Thank, thank you for the teachers who have provided us with the information. Thank you for everything that you've given us. And Lord, now we are in this time of Corona. Take this virus away, Lord God. And please may heal the sick. And please may continue to bless those who are teaching and, and spreading the word of God. In the Jesus' name I pray. Amen.